All right, Eric. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so one of the things that I would tell you right off the bat is that when you're doing this, you want to work on your value contrast a little bit more. And with a snow picture, it's it's kind of hard to do. Um, it's not hard, but it's it's just something that you want to be aware of. And so what value contrast is 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 basically how things read. And so if we, I'm going to see if we can do it here. So if we add a posterize above there, and then as we start uh, kind of refining the levels, you can see that a lot of this really doesn't read well. Like things start getting lost. Like the houses and the buildings read well. But your character, your figure here gets lost into the background. And the amount of, of coloring that you have here uh, gets lost as well. And so you really want to think about kind of how you're you're going to kind of change that that idea okay and so what I would tell you to do is you want to you want to make things seem a lot more kind of uh, you want to break things more into foreground middle ground background and you also want to break things more into um, lights and darks okay and so let's let's look at your bow, uh, <coughs> uh, bow uh, archer here, okay. And so you know there's some some anatomy issues and perspective issues, uh, but one of the things that you want to pay attention to is you have her as a dark outfit, and you have her in front of a white kind of, or I'm sorry, um, you have her in a dark, dark outfit, and you have her in a back black background so you've darkened up that background and basically kind of created this this uh, I don't know uh, kind of no contrast there and then the other thing over here is the same thing you <coughs> you've got this uh, kind of oops let me change your color here so you've got your 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 guy over here and the problem is He's fighting around, so this all feels like it's one object. And the same thing here, this all feels like it's one object. And so those are things that you really want to kind of pay attention to. The other thing is like your 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 space. Now you're looking down at this this character, and by looking down at the character, you're not really kind of you're you're not separating the character. So right here, this head really feels like it's part of the background as well. Um, you know, the wing feels kind of awkward and stiff. Um, <clears throat> and so you want to start looking at and kind of, you know, creating kind of a better idea of the way things are. There's no real separation between the hand and the rest of the body. Um, you know, and it, it feels awkward because the tail is flying up in there and it's flying up in a weird way so that you know, you want to you want to you want to plan the stuff out visually from a thumbnail perspective uh, before you start going here. And so, what I would tell you to do is start by visually kind of kind of cre uh, you know creeping out some of this stuff. So, what I would do is, if you're looking at kind of building up your kind of theme, what is the most important uh, aspect of your your object here? Where do you want to kind of push this, and what is your focal point? <clears throat> you need to ask yourself that first, okay? Because if your focal point is the dragon, then everything else kind of needs to take a secondary aspect. If your focal point is the archer, then the archer should come into the foreground, and that should be your focus point. Okay, so it's little things like that that we need to start looking at and kind of kind of building out. Okay, so an example is if I were to paint over this here, and I'm just going to do real rough. Um, so if I'm going to paint over this from a visual standpoint, uh, I would do something along the lines of, you know, what is your most important kind of feature? What are you looking at? What is your what is your your emphasis? And so what I would do as that uh, kind of process goes is I would start off with uh, let's build out. So you've got your figure here, and you want to break the silhouette 
you know, so that it looks a little bit more kind of broken up. So you see here, I've got, you know, this archer standing here. And then what I would do is underneath that archer, I would put your white, actually, I would probably put a mid-tone gray as your, your kind of, your facing. And so you see how by just simply breaking that value point out, that archer now stands out a lot significantly more. Okay, and so that is the first thing I would do. And then with that in mind, you've got, <clears throat> let's break out this, this idea of light and dark. And so then with the darks, we can actually bring out this platform here, like so, and we can bring out this platform here, like so, and then kind of paint the light snow on top of that. Okay, so you see how I'm, I'm forming out my value range. And then with that, I'm going to, you know, all this other stuff is secondary here. So you can see here that this other stuff like so is kind of kind of that mid-range. And then what you're going to do is you're going to choose a lighter color, and the lighter color is your mountains. And that color right there is kind of your 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 kind of you know snowy peaked mountains. And then even more of a lighter color is oops. And even more of a lighter color is so something along the lines like that. And then if you're going to put the dragon, the dragon is going to be a slightly darker color. And so you can see now how um, the dragon now really kind of is, you know, from a color standpoint, will really stand out. <clears throat> but the thing I want to do is I want to make sure that the dragon stands out from a silhouette standpoint. And so right now, it's this kind of combobulated blob. And if I take this and break down, you know, just the body <clears throat> right here, like so. And you see how just breaking that character down and we put let's uh, let's actually do let's cover that up and so we put this and he's gonna be like breathing fire or whatever and you know then you can build out the arms but you see how that silhouette really kind of pushes I don't know hands, but the silhouette really kind of pushes and develops what you're trying to trying to really force in there, and then from there you can have your you know your other guy lunging. He's a little bit smaller in the background. You know you can have you can have that lunging you know even more kind of you know, much more kind of prevalent. And you see here how how just the values force the character back and forward. And I think that's where you're struggling is in the value range. You're, you're not understanding that as you would go back, you're going to get, if you're going to go darker, you know, if you're going to do the night sky, then everything back here needs to go darker to push that, that character forward. Okay? And so it's little things like that that you know you can kind of play with and then don't forget overlapping because you can easily overlap and still tell part of that story and so you can see here like I've overlapped this <clears throat> snowbank here and start that story is still relevant and then it also gives you kind of the emphasis of where that character is going now I can add in a wing back here and as long as that wing is not darker than this character here, it'll still read well. So I can go back here and and as long as that wing is not as dark, all right, I don't know, I'm just adding some spikes, things like that. And so you can see that that character 
starts, you know, it starts developing that character. And then you can add in a tail. The tail is, if that's your selling point, then make the tail visual so that you can kind of see like this monster is rampaging. You know, having the tail up in front of everything basically kind of crosses out that character and makes me not want to look at him anymore. Um, he's not, not a valid point anymore from that. And so you have to look at that silhouette and you have to understand how that silhouette is going to contrast against everything else. And then even from the background standpoint, we can add in, um, you know, a darker kind of silhouette, which is going to go behind this character here. And you can see now that, you know, I'm layering the effects. I'm layering the ideas. And so r the problem you have right now is that nothing feels layered. Um, it all feels like even this, the wing is in front of this thing, which should definitely be beforehand. So you need to layer your objects too. Okay. So I hope that kind of ideology helps. Um, and I think you can salvage this uh, with a couple little things here and there, uh, especially if you're going to do a digital paint over. It's about, you know, breaking up your shapes, breaking up your, your overall kind of idea like this before you start painting. All right. I hope that helps.